Welcome back. We have um, we've been given a mission by Garrus to go hunt down Doctor Salion. Salion. I'm, I'm sure we'll get around to that. We're just going to finish talking up to some people because his conversation Commander? took forever. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. Yeah, Dr. Okay. St. Leon. Yeah. See, this is the thing, is like... They do have these little things they bring up and, um... I think she's being straight with us. I don't remember if we had this conversation, actually. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. <laughs> Want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. I don't think she's used to teasing. Good natured or otherwise. Very Fine. true. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean they lasted thousands that is of years. One issue with this um paraphrasing dialogue wheel they use, isn't that? It's like, mm. ah, can we talk? Do you have a few minutes? Oh, okay. He did, did nowhere in that sentence sure. do those three words come up. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that one. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? Of course not, sir. Fraternization <laughs> is against regulations. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, it is important to her. We kind of knew that from the early Dad, interactions with her, so haven't we? I had to help mom raise mm -hmm. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah. So here we go, we're going to have another long conversation with another member. Because they're opening up a bit more. I have to actually wonder if it's down to actual story progression or just proper assignments being done. Good question. She has a degree in planetary geology. Because uh, <coughs> I both wanted to see new worlds. I think because where I am in the story, I've done pretty much everything, and I'm just getting the same, you know, conversation prompts now every every time. Well, the thing is, they only have so many, don't they? Sounds like a big family. Mm. But yeah, as it, I've only done the Aras thing, and we talked to everyone after that, didn't we? Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuver. And yeah, here we go. She's actually talking about her home life now. All over. Mm. We oh well. Half a dozen times before I finish grade school. You go where a personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. You're lucky to have a close family. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your. Wait, family. what was our family situation? Or lack thereof. <laughs> Were we the orphan? Me to clear a bunker of armed hostiles, no problem. Dealing with yeah, we were the right orphan. Now, not so good with that. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a <laughs> friend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Oh, great. It's one of these conversations. <laughs> I he was a bad kid, mm. just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on See now that duty. prompt, like Sarah's vid mails, sounds like what are these vid mails you talked about? Not they were on where were you located? Doesn't that? Yeah. Cluster, but a dozen away. Close L Y being light years. Too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast <laughs> Yeah, light years, because you know it takes a while. If yep. Really liked her, he wouldn't be <laughs> but just, yeah, just, just for those who may see that and be like, what if does that mean? Because. Yeah, what's, yeah, yeah. In this universe, you, well, in most universes, take, yeah, most universes, it would take years on conventional drives just to get from one planet to another. In this, in this reality, with the advent of FTL, with zip, with the uh, Mass Effect fields, you can cover that distance in about maybe minutes, hour, or an hour, depending on distance. Yeah, but the the uh, maybe it's just like. For those who may not be interested in space, light years may be confusing. It's not technically actually a speed that we travel at, it's the speed that light travels at. Mm-hmm. Why did you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem. 
and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. Oh, I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. You said all of your sisters. I guess the feeling all Williams women are like this. Yeah. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took. You know, she's got sort of a blue glow at the bottom of the screen. She always was a little weird. That's probably. I think it's from her computer, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lens flare. So what did you? Because only when we're focused on her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see on the uh, table top there. Yeah. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. <laughs> it doesn't like years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't mind having gone gone back there every day to walk them home. It's only a couple of light years away. <laughs> I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. Well. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. <laughs> they took him to the hospital, I'm reading all this and immediately I can't help but think of the exclamation Haikiba. <laughs> he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. Well... I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. She's quoting something. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I can remember what she quotes. Cities of men. And manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. <laughs> Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. <laughs> ah. Every time he shifted, <laughs> there we go, Ulysses. He quoted me reading it. He had a dozen versions. Ulysses. Of yeah, it's been. I still like it. Mm. I sure hope so. I read it to We're being a nice person. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching now. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Hold up, hold up. Ooh. <laughs> All I know is that the top passes are the friendly ones. Yeah. Uh. Is that. <clears throat> Will I ever believe in this? Mine, no, one, of course mine does. Right, of course, we don't have a problem with it. Um. Hmm. So we're, we're not going to tell her to keep it to itself. Like we're not. Yeah, we're not going to be. You know, we're, not go, we're not going to uh, accuse her of being fanatical. <laughs> so we could not judge. We say it's not a problem. Or we also believe, which. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Honestly, I think one of the top two, really. Hmm. Uh, you can always flip a coin. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Of course not. Everyone has to <laughs> believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. 
I've met a few people who are really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Yeah, that is a bit um, small-minded, isn't it, to think that? Looked out the window. Mm. How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Right. She shouldn't have anything more to say if I do get a call. Should she? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I it. Yeah. Right they only ever have one thing per day. Not yet, Assignment, yet. don't they? Or deployment. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to call it. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. What do you want, Shepard? Uh. I think personal. I think it's prompting you to go for personal inquiry at this point. It is. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Like? Hang on, I've just got to check a uh, file real quick. We were just having to uh, check my notes on um, episodes. Uh, lots of reasons. Um, yes. Such as. The one that's there. I needed to mm. get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? He's I was very betrayed. short, isn't he? I was head of a small tribe. We were trying well, to he's to the point. The yep. War. He's not one for the fancy words. Were nah. Us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. Yeah. What did you want? I just wanted to shut <laughs> up and stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. Hey. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. The old did, guard who just want to fight made sure mm -hmm. the new ones who are fast at least thinking yeah to just you know war. try to we survive to focus on breeding at least for one generation and for a while we were getting through some of the tribes started coming around uh, no, I think the warlord didn't appreciate that no he didn't he arranged a crush with the tribes a meeting on neutral ground. Ah, uh, sure he did. To talk. Uh, oh yeah, that's how these things usually go. <laughs> I just, no, I just, I just want to talk. You know, no weapons, no beating the where we all go. Stuff beating the dickens out of you. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father and father <laughs> crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold. Yeah, sacred. he just slips that in, doesn't he? Jared was your father. Yeah, it's just, he just, was, ca just so casual, isn't it? Yeah. We talked, but we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. Nope. Too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Too many just want to fight still. Lots of species have left their mm -hmm. homes and prospered. 
They probably figure, yeah, we're not, get yeah, we're not getting any stronger anytime soon. Might as well go out in a blaze of glory. That wouldn't surprise me, actually. Extinction Genophage actually wants to really go. It's the family, which is new. This, I think, is what leads to his you thing, isn't it? I think so. I've got some there we go. Unfinished business with my family, but that's all. Really? What kind of business? We're being nosy. Uh, <laughs> before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. So your grandfather. I over my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. <laughs> useless, really. <laughs> but it was worn by five generations of my family. But let's be honest, like, how long do Krogans live? Mine. I think they can live quite a well while if they don't die in battle. Yeah, yeah, they're very, yeah. They and it was five them. generations, we so it's outdated. After the war. For sure. Yeah, now, yeah. It's in the hands this is back from the time where the Krogans cheap. Where the Krogan's uh, da, 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 biggest achievement was gunpowder. Made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my Well, it's true. By the time they developed gunpowder, the Salarians came along and said, "We need you to fight a giant alien race of bugs." Yeah. We'll give you tech. We'll give you technology. Which is why. We'll give you which is why the uh, Krogan special shotgun is very much like a traditional shotgun, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Pump. Just yeah, pump action and all that. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander This I is why you don't this is why you don't mess with the evolutionary path of so speed of underdeveloped species. Shepherd. Can we do this yet? Shepherd. Uh yep, yeah, I think it's in the journal. No no no. The mean Shepherd. Rex. Shepherd. Rex. <laughs> Shepherd. Rex. What? <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? It's the it's the meme that uh, the Krogans just say your name and that Shepard goes along with it. <sighs> what? Well, you gotta love Rex. Right, let's just pay a courtesy visit to everyone to make sure they have stuff to say. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Yep, you seem like the normal. Goodbye, Commander. I think she doesn't really talk too much no, in this one, does she? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, not that much. Oh, this is a long introduction. You need, Commander? Okay, it looks like... Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? They know about the stone wall that you've had from the council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, yeah. especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Whether I'll too flare up. Anything I can do? A little bit of a. Uh, yeah, it'll settle down. Yeah. It's rough. Story sometimes. of him. But they spike higher than a lot of L3s, except for you, of course. And besides, I fared a lot better than some. I like that the. Except you, of course, line only gets put in if you have an adept um, thing in your like one of the adepts, like an adept, a sentinel, or a vanguard. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I haven't heard anything about kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corpses after they. Yeah, they didn't go very well, did they? After first contact, no, not since. Yeah, not after what happened on Jump Zero. He'll explain. Yeah. Well, he, he was part of it, wasn't he? Yeah, he was part of Kinetics' attempt to train biotics. It's just Ezo well, being Kinetics. Element Zero, for those who don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much what power, that's pretty much what powers everything from the Mass Effect fields to yeah, that's about it really. Mass Effect fields sort of do everything. Yeah. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. 
It would have made Earth look weird. Yeah, lovely. So they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Sure, that went perfectly well. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. Yay. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Yeah. Did he ever face charges for that? Oh, he, um... But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient. Yeah. Does, does, he, does he open up about the actual story of that to us? Yeah. Yeah, he does at some point. Yeah, because I, I know we get the story, I just can't remember if it's now or later. Yeah, um, I think it's later. Just sort of, I think just sort of do what I do, sort of. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Well, I know there's a lot of assignments out there. <laughs> no, no, K Caden wasn't with us on that mission. No, 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 he wasn't there. He wasn't there. <laughs> exactly. So it wasn't by a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, maybe about, maybe about a few minutes, give it, give it, maybe an hour, give it. Yeah, take. I'd say more like an hour. Mm. And of course they, they have like the camera feeds and he was watching on that. Mm. Which actually would like surprise me actually because they do ch the people on the ship do chime in and say things at times, don't they? Yeah, they do. So they've got to have some way to monitor what we're up to. I would say kill. I would say Does helmet cameras, but I don't recall yeah, you wearing a helmet. Yes, sir. Uh, technically, our character does. No, if, if anything, it'd be like a body cam, wouldn't it? Joker. Commander. Yeah, probably. Is that you need? That all looks like I as usual. All right, see ya. Uh, I think for Joker, he he does only have stuff to talk about when something major happens. Yeah. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's just give a quick save. Message from Admiral Hatton, oh. Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong uh, cluster. There we go. Sure now that's been properly finished. Region. Nice job, Shepard. Yay! You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Woohoo! Right, so we now need to head to... Uh... Let's... Local cluster. Soul. For those who know their space stuff, they'll know where we're heading already. Those who have read the title, they'll know too. <laughs> oh no, it's been spoiled. Look, there's Earth. Yay, there's us. Hello. I don't think there's really anything for us to find in this system, though, is there? Yeah, sorry to say it like this, but there is sod all here. Everything that could be explored has already been explored by the humans. Yeah. Look, Pluto. Yeah, That's apparently, a yes, one. apparently, its moon was a mass is a mass relay that explains the weird orbit. Now that we've dug it out, it's more circ. Now the orbit Pluto's orbit is now more circular. Yeah. I am doing yeah, it just double check, just to be sure, but yeah, the system is yeah, not on my Uranus list. And, oh, yeah, man. Uranus and Saturn are the chief suppliers of Helium-3 of the solar system. Yeah. I forget what is he I forget what Helium-3 is used for. Um... Would it test in the Codex? Maybe. Uh, um. Technology... No. Better than zero. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, does it? No, I'm, I'm gonna cheat. Okay, you do that. Oh. 
isotope of helium that is used in nuclear fusion reactions and as fuel for fusion torches. There you go. So in other words, so in other words, this stuff powers the. So in, so in other words, this stuff is starship fuel. Yeah, it makes sense. Luna. It's mine for minerals. Let's land. Right, so who do we want to take on this mission? Caden or Tidy can do our electronic stuff now. Over mm -hmm. right. Gareth, we still got to make sure he can do it. So that'll be. We'll take him on an exploration mission and get his points assigned. Uh, should we go Caden and Leara? Very heavy on the biotic stuff, though, isn't that? We kind of want more yeah, techy for this mission. Mm. Uh, Should we take just Caden and Garrus then? Can, can do. Why not? Let's do that. So if I remember right, um, Overload will be working wonders, won't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to say, don't worry too much about exploring stuff, because the only thing you'll find is a crashed, uh... Oh, this, yeah, it's a bit of a relic, an old Soviet moon probe. I've got debris there. There are some bonus turrets in the map. Mm. Yeah, sort of... Yeah, sort of along the s on the south of the map. Yeah. Uh, we will go to this first because loot. Yep. Yep. yep that's there we go. That's There's the boost. Yep, that's the lunar probe I was telling you about. We. We. So you're boosting and firing the jump jets. Yeah. But it's because you keep your momentum there, but, but you start slowing down once the boost stops. So technically, jumping at the end of the boost gets oh, you keep a little bit of the momentum. Oh, oh yeah, you retain some of your... Uh, oh, your screen's frozen. Yeah. It didn't like how fast I was going, clearly. Yeah, so it's something you slow down. Then don't give me boosts. Yeah. It, yeah, it's the, here, game's fault, it's the game's fault for adding. Yeah, it's the game's mask. fault for adding the boost. Like we can't actually even take these masks off. Uh, oh, Caden, that shares more points. To uh, add. Okay, quick question: to... Do you want to suffocate? Yes. Oops. Yeah. Do you Oops. want to suffocate because there is no, there is no air on the moon? How do you know that? Well, the fact that I can see the stars and there is an Earth rise. Normally, if there's an normally if there's any kind of atmosphere, the air would be sort of you know. I've never actually looked tinted. at his helmet very much. It's uh, not quite what I was expecting. Sort of, it's yeah. It sort of changes depending on the armor. Some yeah. you get this little funny thing. Others you get the full opaque faceplate. Yeah, it does. Like you know, here we've got two sets of human armor with different mm -hmm. sets. Oh, he's got some things. Yeah, he's got funny. Yeah, he's got yeah. Other than funny eye holes for his armor, but then again, I'm assuming that's because he's a biotic. No, this is the helmet type. If I swapped armors with him, he'd have this helmet, and I'd have that helmet. Hmm. Um. I wonder what I should be putting. Uh, maybe his first aid skill. Not medicine. Uh. As you know, let's get his stasis up. Right. C C C C C P Luna twenty three. Like I said, it's an old like I said, old Soviet mo Luna probe. Yep. Ah Sometimes it does not take inputs well. Hmm. Okay, stabilizer and ammo. 
Okay. I'm assuming there's old scrap in that probe that can be actually, you know, modified or broken down to work to make that stuff. You'd think so. Yeah, because well, let's look at the let's look at the distance. This thing was probably launched what, nineteen sixties? Yeah, maybe. It is now the twenty one sixties, so that's about two hundred years that's a two hundred year gap. Yeah. Bouncy bounce. Bounce. Wee. Wee. See? There's the Earth rise. Yeah. And look, it's the right way round. Uh, well, I think they noticed me. And uh, we don't get it. It's not triggering. Well, I think you're on. Well, I think the fact you're being fired upon is gonna, you know, mess things up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> right. I would advise taking out the guns first before you even think about going anywhere close. Should we take out the two guns that are closest to me? Oh, yeah, that one hit. And that one. Yeah, my shield's doing fine still. Oh, look out. Hey. There we go. Oh, this. Oh, I was just about to say it says, it says there's still one alive, still one live, but yeah, it did, but it was just in its uh, death rows. Yeah, I'm going That's to go it. get all the XP I can before we head in, though. Yeah, there's one in there's one in there. there they are, look. One on the yeah, there's one there, one on the ridge. Like 400 XP. Well, actually, it's nearly 500 per each, isn't it? Yeah, close. Yeah, close to 500 per, which, is, which isn't bad. They're actually firing at me. What, what did you Look, ex? I leveled up. What were you expecting these things to do? I don't know. Yeah, that should have been all of them. Yep, that's all down there. Now there's another set on the ridge. Yeah, up there somewhere. Uh, no, no, yeah, I forgot about there where you put the marker. The boink. Here we got another level up for that, so that was definitely worth it. Yes, it was. And all of our tech people can go and be uh, our hackers for whatever mission now, which is perfect. Bonk. No. Hello. That went through the ground. Stop shooting me. There we go. So it's, a, it's an extra, what, 4,000 XP all around? Pretty much. Yeah, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. I, yeah, roundabouts, give or take. Yeah, give it a bit more because the first ones were 4, 9, 4, and then those ones were 5, 30. Wee. Which gives out an average of higher than 500 per each. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Let's get. Right. Let's get to work. Wee. Okay. Let's give a quick save. With all that done. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh. You know why? 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 Why am I walking? Yes. Why are you walking? 
All right, let's try this one first. Right. In we go. Hello, door. Excuse pardon me, sorry. You. Yeah, pardon me. Decryption. Ooh. Ooh. Some weaponry and some credits. Who keeps credits with their weapons, eh? Well, you never. Well, you never know. It could have been the locker of one of the trainees up here. It could have been. Uh, right now, brace yourself because these drones hurt, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. You do that. Oh, I'm using a shotgun. I don't want to be using a shotgun. Let's get in. Yeah, that would be fine. Oh, hello. No, that's not what I want to use. I want to use... Uh, sabotage there. You overload there. <laughs> There we go. Um, there we go. I think we're good, Shepard. Thank you, guys. There you go. The map was showing clear. Yep, Let's put that away yep, so we got sure. a bit better vision. <laughs> that door. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's much loot in this place, does it? No, it's, it's only in the first. A lot of exclamation marks. Yeah, it's only in the it's only in the first room. The loots. And not always, but it's where most of the loot is usually. Like maybe there'll be one or two things yeah. in that fight room. Yeah. But yeah, but um, in this mission, it's the first. It's the first rooms. Right, just draw a weapon and start shooting. Oh yeah, not yet. Hello, data point. Let's just check the other room. <laughs> Taking cover on the. Uh... Toxic gas. Yeah, the VI knows. It. The VI knows it's under attack. Yeah. So it's now taking hostile. St it's now taking hostile action against you. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I mean, it did with the. I mean, it did with the drones, but now it's taking uh, severe. Yeah, more direct action. Oh, if we overload them, does that do it quicker? Mm, I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, uh, he doesn't even want to use it. This uh, poison is not doing much to us. I'll be honest. Oh, I know why it's not doing uh, much to me. I have the toxic resi resistance mod on. Yeah. Otherwise, it sort of stops health regen. Yeah. But yeah, I've got. Well, it's, it's doing a little bit of damage to me, but I've got um, the medical warp, whatever it's called, which means toxic is like 40% less effective, and I regen for health per second or something like that. So it's basically, this is what you use when you're in a toxic environment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, look. More loot. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, what's the lots of stuff? Okay, well, that's building one. Yep, one down, two to go. This will actually be much quicker than I was expecting it to be. Right, remember, we are going clockwise. Do 
do do do. Right. Oh no, can't save yet. Can't save yet. I think we're good, Commander. Okay, now I can save. Okay, now okay. Now note you're wearing a helmet. I was last time, wasn't I? No, you weren't. You were without a helmet. Now the toxic gas is filling in through the rest of the, the facility. It's just to stop the toxic gas from taking effect. Huh. Ow. Ow. Yay, pistols. Why don't we shoot this power junction? Hello. Hi. You join us for toxic robots. Dead. No. Okay. Making yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, st yeah, I'm still here. I was worried I killed you with the borderline. <laughs> oh, I wish, honestly, Liz, I wish I was dead hearing the, hearing the news. For those who are curious, because they might not have heard this news yet, but we just found out, they're making a Borderlands movie. By pure chance, I was scrolling Facebook and I was a picture that said... Heel, 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 heel. So I'm sitting there like, um, so this, is there a Borderlands movie? He's like, not that I know of, question mark. And then I'm like, okay, so I sent him the picture, and that just started down the rabbit hole of Borderlands, like, trying to figure this out, where apparently we've got a live-action Borderlands movie coming out. Um, we've essentially determined that it's already ruined because Blackjack is not there. Not saying we don't like Blackjack, Jack, he just... He's too comedic. When he gets a comedy role, he thinks he has to be the most comedic comedian. Yeah. Compared to Claptrap is more of a just literal comedian. We're all yes. gonna die. Yeah, he's more of a straight man when it comes to comedy. Think uh b -b 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 best example will be Frank Drebin, played by Leslie Nielsen. And for those who have no contact. clue what we're talking about at all, Claptrap is amazing. <laughs> he can put on a little rubber ducky and go jumping. <laughs> And that's where we're all bashing our heads in. Um, Kevin Hart's in it. Yep, as uh, Roland. Roland. And they've got a couple other people. Essentially, though, there's no information. It looks like it was just an early so Yeah, it's like news as well, don't worry, they just literally ended it. Yeah, it's like they've, they've given us the major players, or at least the major players from the games which are getting roles. We don't know if they will actually be major in the um, movie or not. Yeah, because Shepard, this... Your, um, yeah. Anyone else seeing this? Yeah, I'm seeing it too. He's doing the moonwalk. This might be a problem. You're walking by now. I mean, minus you're shooting weirdly. Yeah, you're sort of shooting at a 90 degree angle. He's, he's actually not very easy to control right now. What happened to your guy? I don't know. Oh, he's fixed himself now. Oh, right, must have been a hiccup. I yeah. Mean that. Can I give a moonwalk clip of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, clip it, clip it. Like it's hot. I might have clipped it. I failed. Actually, I didn't fail per se, but I failed. Uh, oh, yep. It is now desperate to stop you. It is storing up kinetic barriers. Okay, barriers yeah. along with poison in the room each time. You get, yeah. you get a barrier. You get a monkey. I notice how it's only poisoning Shepard, though, this time. Yeah. Clearly, the masks, do, the, the helmets do nothing. The helmet, they, the helmet, they do nothing. Hey, sorry, you. bad, sorry, bad well, Simpsons joke there. All targets down. I think you all have personal problems. You should all eat a monkey. We do have personal problems. Okay, that's this building done. Yeah. Oh, and right. the 
in the movie is going to be by Lionsgate and who was the other girl? Uh, Gearbox. Gearbox. You know, the, yeah, those who own the IP. I mean, Lionsgate has been known to put out some good movies, but they've also been known to put out crap movies. So it really depends. It really does. Personally, I feel like Lionsgate has only ever done good when they do horror. And that's just sad. <laughs> yeah. Because I get excited when I see Lionsgate logo for horror movies, but then anything else, and I'm just like, yep, off. Uh, I don't know. You know what would be funny? What's that? Well, if the, if the Borderlands movie turns out to be a horror movie? I, I mean, there's no way you can hear that. The only way you can get right, one is if they treat Borderlands like they treat Deadpool. You have to liter they have to literally take all their guts and be like, okay, we're gonna be stupid enough to do what Deadpool did and hope it goes well. Because yeah. unless they can put that comedic aspect in it with that seriousness, they're not gonna that. Let's face it. Yeah. I hate to say it, but that's Deadpool. The Deadpool movie was the epitome of Borderlands in a sense of how it played. It was serious, Here but it was comes. very comedic and funny. Oh, oh dear. Do you really want to open the barrier? Yeah. 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 Do you really want to open that door? I have to. As soon as that, yeah. As soon as that barrier comes down, you're going to be hit with bullets and missiles. Yeah, it floats with boat, I guess. Hey, they, they lined up nicely for a big, big just murder spree from us. We took next to no damage. Like a quarter of my shield, that was it. So, in lining up, ready to start shooting at you with missiles and missiles and mass accelerators. All they, all they, they did, succeeded a, yeah, in all, was yeah, clumping up made, nicely for overload and sabotage bombs. Yeah, they just made themselves a target-rich environment. Right. What was that? There's some issues. There's plenty of live action movies that were based on video games and or movies we can say went to crap. Yeah. Some of them were not allowed to mention. Yeah. Any, it just seems like any attempt to make a live action adaptation of a video game is doomed to fail. Yeah. Exactly. That, I know, that being said, there have been a few exceptions to the rule. Some have been good. Yeah. But overall, it's just been... It's just been... Nah. Yeah, you, you're much better off airing on the side of they're going to be bad than they're going to be good. But it still doesn't mean necessarily just write them off entirely. Like, we're not writing off entirely, we're just... Yeah, we're just erring on the side... We're just erring on the side of caution to save ourselves disappointment. Uh, Hurry up, then, please, quick! Anyone else want to know a good disappointing game? What's Maybe. that? Dragon Ball Z. I thought we don't mention that one. We don't. So why are you mentioning it? Because I found it hilarious that your first reaction would be telling you there'd actually be a sequel, like someone would be stupid enough to make a sequel of it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure someone would be. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it's just bad, but still. Yeah. Some of the other ones, to name a few. Monster. Um. Whatchamadoodles. I can't even think. Monster Hunter. Apparently, it was fine until you got time traveling something or another. I wasn't even paying attention to the rounds. It's Apparently, people think the monster aspect of it was fine, it's the rest of it which wasn't. So in English, if you like monsters, watch the monsters. If you don't like it, and then ignore all humans. A burst of white noise over all frequency nearly deafens you. Your heart suits heads up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. I'm not going to read all that out. They repeat again and again. Blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Do you want to know what he's saying? 
I thought he was teaching me how to tune out humans in Monster Hunter World movie. No, no, I know, I know what the VI was saying before you killed it. Yeah, you can enlighten us on that scene. It, it, it was literally in front of us. If we really wanted to take the time, we could have translated it. Yeah, I actually, uh, I actually sort of cheated and Googled it. Okay. You were saying. Help. Huh? Hey. Help. Your specialization class will replace your base class in the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to specialization class and your squad screen. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain with each rank. So we get to pick. Do we want to yeah. become a nemesis or a bastion? 